Most insane things owned by royalty. Hey everyone, it's Alexa again and welcome back to another video. It's nice to ponder what we would buy if we had all the money in the world, but if you're royalty, it's not something you need to ponder. You have the freedom to purchase whatever you want. Royals around the globe have been known to purchase some unusual things, although many of their belongings are items that have been passed down generation to generation. But before we get into today's video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss any of our upcoming videos. Free as a bird. Queen Elizabeth II has always been known for the corgis she owns, but she owns a lot more animals than a few fur babies. She technically owns all the unclaimed, mute swans on open water in England and Wales. She shares this ownership with the Worshipful Company of Vintners and the Worshipful Company of Dyers. The swans have been counted every year for the past 800 years. Hey, big spender. The royal family spend a lot of money, and a yearly list is drawn up to see who has spent the most money. Prince Charles and his wife Camilla like to splurge, particularly when it comes to traveling. Charles spent $474,878.02 on trips to India, Malaysia, and Singapore on the private family jet. He also took a few trips on the royal train, costing $26,000 on each trip. The financial year 2017 into 2018, Prince Charles spent a total of $11 million. Diamonds are a king's best friend. The king of Thailand is the proud owner of the Golden Jubilee Diamond, which weighs 109.13 grams and is a whopping 545.67 carats. This brown diamond is officially the largest in the world, and the exact value is estimated between four and 12 million dollars. The monetary value is of way less importance than the historical value of the diamond. Discovered in South Africa in 1985, the diamond was initially thought to be really ugly and took two years of working in an underground room to uncover its beauty. Drink up. The royal family in England have very specific rules when it comes to accepting gifts from private groups or individuals, and alcohol is a big no-no. So it's interesting to note that the royal family has a booze stash valued at half a million dollars. They either bought all that alcohol themselves or their personal friends believe they need a lot of booze. Between 2012 and 2013, around $120,000 worth of the stash went missing. So either the royal family were very thirsty or it was nicked by the staff. A whale of a time. Queen Elizabeth has some very odd things in her possession, including many of the country's aquatic animals. There's a statute in place from 1324 which says the king shall have wreck of the sea throughout the realm whales and sturgeons taken in the sea or elsewhere within the realm, except in certain places privileged by the king. That law still exists today, and it includes dolphins and porpoises within three miles of the UK. Wedding bells. A wedding is by no means insane, but it's the money that is spent on the wedding that is totally insane. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's wedding had viewers around the world glued to their TV sets. The cost of those few hours of entertainment for you and me? A 40% increase in the royal spending the year of the wedding. The financial report doesn't exactly say royal wedding, but it is documented as other expenditure. She's loving it. Queen Elizabeth II owns a lot of expensive things, but one of the priciest items she owns is a McDonald's that was bought for 92 million pounds. Okay, it doesn't quite work out like that, but the park that she purchased happened to have a drive through McDonald's in it. So the McDonald's became the Queen's by default. It's apparently quite an amazing view from her bedroom window. The park, that is, not the McDonald's. Own the street. One of the most famous streets in the world is Regent Street in London, and you guessed it, it's the property of Queen Elizabeth II. It's 1.25 miles in length, and it sees the feet of 7.5 million people every year. Unfortunately, the Queen is not entitled to any of the rental income on that street, but we think she's probably good with that. Drive-by. When you're part of the Monaco royal family, you don't just own some of the casinos in Monte Carlo or the Opera de Monte Carlo. You also own your own car museum. In the 1950s, Prince Rainier III started collecting expensive cars, and by the time 1993 rolled by, he had over 100 exquisite vehicles and opened the collection up to the public. Some of the models include the Bugatti Type 35 that William Grover Williams drove when he won the Monaco Grand Prix in 1929. The museum is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m every day. Enjoy the view. If you're taking a leisurely drive along the coastline of England, Wales, and Northern Ireland, chances are you're driving on private property. Part of the Queen's portfolio is just under half the coastline of those three countries. Fool's Gold. The Sultan of Brunei is ranked the fourth richest royal in the world, with Prince Al-Walid being the wealthiest member of the Saudi Arabian royal family. His net worth is 18.7 
billion dollars, while the Sultan's is around 20 billion dollars. He loves collecting cars and has an extensive car collection. He has custom-made Bentleys, Ferraris, Bugattis, and Rolls Royces, including a Rolls that is completely coated in 24 karat gold. Home is where the heart is. And if you're Queen Elizabeth, your heart can be in one of several places. It could be at Buckingham Palace or Windsor Castle or Holyrood Palace in Edinburgh, Hillsborough Castle in Northern Ireland, Sandringham Estate and Balmoral Castle, which she inherited from her father. Party like a royal. If you want to have a memory for a lifetime, go and party with the Swaziland royal family. Most of Swaziland's population survive on less than a dollar a day, but it doesn't stop the royal family from spending lavishly. They like to flaunt their wealth on social media, and they've done the seemingly impossible, hosted birthday parties underwater. Don't think the citizens like it, though. Through SwaziLeaks, there's a great awareness being spread about the spending of the royal family. Life is short. Buy the bag. Queen Elizabeth is usually seen with a handbag hanging over her arm, and apparently she uses it to speak in code to her staff. But it's not just any bag. She loves the luxury London designer Launer as well as Traviata Styles. It's estimated she owns about 200 bags, with each costing in the region of $2,500. Wedding Bells The most expensive royal wedding goes to the ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed Rashid Al Maktoum, when he wed Hind Bint Maktoum. Their wedding cost $137 million and lasted a week. A brand new stadium was built to hold 20,000 guests, and 34 private jets were chartered to bring their guests to their special day. Cash is king. In this case, queen, although I can't imagine why the queen would need a tenor, but should the need arise for her to draw money, she does have her own private ATM machine in the basement of Buckingham Palace. It's courtesy of Coots Bank and can only be used by the royal family. A lick of paint. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman owns the world's most expensive painting. He already owns a $300 million French chateau near Versailles, but it's not the most expensive thing he owns. Part of his treasure trove of items is Salvatore Mundi, a painting by Leonardo da Vinci, valued at $453 million. The Crown Prince also owns a $500 million yacht, and he's worth around $10 billion. Interesting to note, this painting disappeared from 1763 until 1900 and when it sold in 1958, it only fetched around $125. Best seat in the house. The seat hadn't been used in 33 years, but when Andy Murray played in June of 2010, the queen cashed in on her royal status and sat in the royal box to watch him win. She left after Murray's game, much to the disappointment of Rafael Nadal, who was preparing for his match. The queen and the Duke of Kent had to attend another engagement. The last time she attended, she handed the winning trophy to Virginia Wade for the ladies' singles championship. It has not been won by a Briton since. You wear it well. The story of the last Romanovs is well known, especially with the animated version of Anastasia. The family lost their lives to the Bolsheviks, and it was long believed that Anastasia had escaped. Sadly, that was not the case. The family, especially Tsar Nicholas II, loved extravagant clothing. Items of their clothing were put on display at an exhibit at the Victoria and Albert Museum in 2008. Items included long, fur-trimmed mantles, one that was 20 feet long, requiring seven people to carry it. Blue Blood Queen Elizabeth II is the proud owner of the Tower of London. Dating back to the 11th century, this structure was built as a royal palace and a defense system. It's one of the most visited tourist spots in London. Along with the Tower of London, the Queen also owns the Crown Jewels and the Ravens. There's an old saying that goes, if the Ravens leave the Tower, the kingdom will fall. As pretty as a picture. In 2012, the Qatar royal family purchased the world's second most expensive painting. The painting was Cezanne's The Card Players, which cost $250 million. There are five paintings in the series, with the other four paintings in museums around the world. The Qatar family are some of the top art buyers in the world. The Qatar royal family are estimated to be worth $1 trillion. Quick on the draw, the British royal family also owns some priceless works of art, and one of the most impressive pieces of the collection is a sketchbook that used to belong to Queen Victoria. Queen Elizabeth II is the great, great granddaughter of Queen Victoria. Gifted Royal family members received some insane gifts, and some of the items that have been gifted to the British royal family include the following. Fabric gnomes, a totem pole, stuffed kookaburras, a fake sword, a stuffed owl, clown glasses, dog soap, and tinned pineapple. 
Car Crazy Jai Singh Prabhakar was the Maharaja of Alwar from 1892 to 1937. While in London, he paid a visit to the Rolls-Royce distributor, and apparently, a salesman ignored him. That obviously didn't sit well with him, so later that day, he went back to Rolls-Royce and purchased seven of the vehicles, with one condition. The salesman that was rude to him had to assist him in escorting the cars back to India. Once he got to India, he instructed his staff to use the vehicles to collect rubbish. Which one of these do you think is the most insane thing owned by royalty? Or if you were a royal, what would you spend your money on? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. One, that crazy. We mentioned that Queen Elizabeth owns Balmoral Castle, and inside the castle is a colony of bats that have made the main hall their home. She's said to enjoy catching the bats with a butterfly net. Sounds a bit crazy, but I guess we'll never know. 